Hi, uh, this is Eric Steigerwald, and I'm going to be doing a developer commentary for this is uh, this is Pathogen. It doesn't say anywhere on the menu, but that is the name of the game, and I made it. Um, I'm going to do my very best to turn down the volume so that you can actually hear me talk. All right. Um, so I made this game very quickly over the course of about five uh, five to seven weeks. In those five and seven, five to seven weeks, I um, was in the process of learning how to use the engine in which this game was constructed. Uh, it was a school project for my school, uh, therefore the engine that I was learning was an in-school engine, and there was basically no documentation. Um, I'm not saying this to be proud, I'm saying this to explain why it took five to six, we seven weeks to make the game that you're about to see. Um, so. What you're looking at right here is what I like to call a storyline. Uh, it is not very sophisticated. I determined actually very quickly, it used to be longer, uh, but I determined very quickly that players despised uh, reading text off of the screen. Normally what you would expect after that is to determine that, yes, it is time to remove the text from the screen and not display it, but I had a lot of time problems and honestly I felt that I could still manage some things. Um, by the way, in case sound doesn't make it into this video, there is really bad elevator music playing in the background. It is the only really bad elevator music to make it into this game, um, and I'm very sad that it still remains, but uh, <coughs> in, the way, in a way it has its own charms. So. Yes, here we are. Um, this is a game, it's a top-down shooter, as you can tell. Uh, lots of interesting things. So, during the tutorial section, which this most certainly is, um, I had a lot of interesting problems come up. Uh, so the game originally was designed around being a giant boss fight that was nothing but a humongous tutorial. Uh, basically for a, a single level at the end, and it consisted of many levels that all taught the player very procedurally, very slowly, um, and it basically just summed up rather quickly, not slowly, uh, some quickly summed up all of the various things that the player would need to know about the game. Uh, and it was over several levels, and then they all got compressed in later iterations into just one level, even more quickly. Um, <clears throat> and then, at that point, the game became, well, what it is now, which is uh, more of a game that has a boss fight at the end, rather than a boss fight that has some tutorial in front of it. This was the biggest lesson that I learned when I started turning this into from a series of tiny levels to about two large levels. Uh, this sequence used to have uh, an arena that had attachable walls, and uh, they're gone. That is because I learned things about players dying on purpose. It's not fun. They don't like it. Nobody gets... It, it is something to be done very carefully. And... Uh, Uh huh. See? Uh, <clears throat> that used to terminate the level. Fortunately, it doesn't anymore. Mostly, it was a lesson in communication. The player didn't understand. What they what I was asking them. Uh, <clears throat> it was a very valuable lesson. I turned it into a chase that the player could actually win. They felt like they were winning, and in the end, it worked out. I could have extended the chances a little bit more, but I kept it where it was. All right, more in the next video.